this Sunday afternoon, everybody. Happy um, Black History Month Sunday, the second Sunday, I think, in the month. I believe we're on the second Sunday. Anywho, it's Super Bowl Sunday as well, and we're still celebrating Black History Month. I'm just going to let you just look at an, a brief little overview of Black History on my little chart here. It talks about in the beginning. I'll leave it right there so that you can be able to go back and read it if you'd like to. You won't come on down here to the second part of it. You can read that as well. So this is all part of our Black History Month celebration. I'll be bringing you some stuff, some commentary, some personal commentary. But today I need to get back on the stove and get this cooking done. As you can see, I've still got my display up. I haven't really added anything else to it, and I probably will tomorrow when I have more time to work on it. So, hope you're having a God bless Sunday. Hope you're still celebrating and learning something about black history. Hope you're sharing what you learn. Hope you're doing something kind for someone. And most of all, I hope y'all in that kitchen getting ready to cook something good for Sunday dinner. Uh, for the Super Bowl um, party people, I hope you got all the chicken that you wanted for uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Every, a lot of people talking about, in fact, I just talked to my sister in Atlanta, and they were, she was talking about how people are having a little bit of a problem trying to uh, find chicken. Honey, we had all the chicken we needed here at Sam's Club in North Carolina, so y'all might need to have driven to North Carolina. Got all the chicken we need up here, y'all. So, anywho, have a God bless uh, Sunday afternoon. It's a beautiful day. I do trust that the weather is as pretty out in California as it is here because I'm telling you, if so, it's a beautiful day to play football. Now, I'm going to get back up here in the kitchen and start cooking Sunday dinner. Okay, y'all, I'm in the kitchen getting ready to uh, get my Sunday dinner prepared. Uh, today is going to be something quick, easy, simple and tasty y'all as you can see to your left right here i've got some mesquite chicken breasts and i'm going to be um marinating them with some brown sugar and honey i've already mixed up um about let's see about a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar of, of, i'm sorry a couple of tablespoons of mustard and a fourth of a cup of brown sugar just mix it up really really good and that's basically all you need, just a little bit of something to make them taste a little bit different. These chicken breasts are well, they are, they are uh, mesquite, so you know they got the little smoky taste to them. So all I'm doing here is putting some uh, of this glaze right over the top of them. I'm going to put them in a 400 degree oven for probably about 15, 20 minutes. Just give that uh, honey mustard time to just glaze right onto them make them taste really, really good y'all just spread it out like so and i'm going to also be doing some um let's see i, I think it's ribs not rib steaks delmonico steaks i think is what i purchased because i did i purchased some fillets and i decided i was going to make steak sandwiches to go along with this meal so we're going to have some nice steak sandwiches I have some good old Delmonica steaks that I have seasoned and uh, set to the side and let them, uh, you know, when you're doing steaks too, remember to get them to room temperature because these are going to be pan fried. I decided I wasn't going to get out there and fire up that grill today. So we're going to have some nice uh, steaks on the stove. So we got our chicken breast all marinated. I got my oven set to, I'm sorry about that. I got my oven set on 400 degrees, and I'm going to put them in, I think, for about 15 minutes should do it. And then we'll have us some nice baked on. And that look good already. These are some good uh, pieces of uh, chicken, too. That's the same chicken that I use when I'm doing the Alice Spring chicken. Yep, that's it. Okay. Now, let's get on to the steaks. I've got these nice... I had these thin cut Delmonico's. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pan fry them right here in this, on a real, real hot skillet. And we're going to do steak sandwiches. And they're going to be mm -mm good, y'all. Then, after I do that, I've got me another skillet off to the side where I'm going to be stir frying some uh, Brussels sprouts, 
peppers, onions, and potatoes. Okay. A real quick, simple meal. And I think it's befitting a Super Bowl meal. Because I also made some quiche the other day. I haven't, I don't think I've uploaded that video yet. But I'm going to uh, maybe like slice some little pieces of quiche to have sitting around. Look, nobody here with me and Kareem and no reek. So, as far as I know, everybody else is doing their own thing today. Because I'm really not a, a Super Bowl person. So, anywho, y'all. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and get my stir fry going. And then I'll do those steaks last because they are really thin and they don't take that much time to cook. What I've got here is a couple of take about three tablespoons of, you know, that olive oil. I always use olive oil to cook with. Then I'm going to use me a couple of tablespoons of butter. I'm going to put it right in the pan there. I'm going to let it get really, really good and hot. I want that buttery flavor. And I want it all over. And I mix it with the olive oil. The butter with the olive oil so it will not burn, y'all. So remember that. If you want that buttery flavor, you don't want that butter to burn. I have to do a lot of work to keep it from burning. Just remember, just mix some olive oil and some butter together. Okay, and meanwhile I've got my uh, pan over here getting hot for the steaks to fry. So we're just going to let this get as hot as we can. And I don't want that butter to brown just yet because I want it to be able to cook long enough to cook these veggies. And have that mm -mm good flavor to it. So hope y'all got something going. Maybe you already got yours or did you have it catered in? What are y'all doing for Super Bowl Sunday? A lot of people are doing the gathering, which is fine, just fine. I'm going to be sprinkling these with some uh, complete seasoning. A little bit of jerk seasoning, all my usual seasoning, and some garlic powder. Okay. And then I'll start putting veggies in. Now the potatoes I put into the microwave and just for about 10 minutes, like maybe not in the month, maybe about eight minutes, just to let them go and get softened up a little bit. So when uh, we get done with them, we make sure they're nice and cooked. Ooh, you don't want no water in there. Okay, so I'm just going to place them in there like so. I didn't know about this, but I put them in the microwave. They made a little water on them. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and let them start cooking on high. Complete seasoning. And this is about a teaspoon of each one of these, so everything has to be seasoned accordingly. And because you like a little bit of heat, I'm going to put me a little bit of dirt on there. That jerk, you can smell that ginger in there. I love that smell. Oh, love that. Love what it smells. Okay. Okay, we just sort of move these off to the side. I want to get those potatoes well coated into my seasoning, y'all. Mmm, yum, 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 yummy, y'all. Mmm. This is so good. When we get everything incorporated, it's going to be even better. Okay, so now I'm going to start putting in my other veggies. I got the uh, multicolored uh, peppers, Brussels sprouts, and onions. Okay. Lots and lots of Brussels sprouts and onions and peppers. Go ahead and start putting on my same seasoning because everything has to be seasoned, y'all. This is uh, another teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder. You just repeat the same seasoning. 
complete season and all. Complete, y'all know you have to have a complete season and all. Okay. And a little bit of dirt season. I'm gonna make it too hot. But you know who loves real, real hot food? Let me know. He can eat some hot wings. And lo he loves hot wings. Love for love. I can't believe how many of them he can eat. They be hot too. Ooh, I can't eat them. But he loves them. Well, some kids are like that. They love uh, hot food. He's one of those little young kids. And Kylie does too. He and Kylie both love uh, hot food. So, we're just going to let these get steamed all up here real good. And that's just a pretty uh, pan of veggies. So a little bit more. This is um, soft margarine with shed spread in them. I would say shed spread. But it's not shed spread. I'm going to put plain of shed spread on it. Anyway, we're just going to let these go ahead and get marinated into the seasonings really, really good. And all you got to do is just continue to turn them like so. There's plenty of uh, seasoning in the bottom of the pan. And we're going to keep the heat high because I don't want any condensation to form in there. I want these to be stir fried. I want them to be sauteed and uh, I want the juices from the veggies to cook, but I want it to be um, I don't want it like juicy, in other words, okay? Whew, can't wait for this to get done now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit of my truffle, my drizzle, just a little bit of my truffle um, seasoning. My truffle olive oil. Just a little bit, child. There we are. Truffles have that mixed with that um, olive oil has a wonderful different flavor to it. Fragrance, uh, aroma rather. Okay. Now, the other thing that I'm going to sprinkle on is a little parsley. Just a few parsley flakes. And after that, we're just going to let them sit there and cook. This takes about 12 minutes once you get everything mixed. About 10, 12 minutes, and they'll be done. And while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, steaks done. The um, chicken is in the oven. It'll be done. About everything's going to be done at the same time. So y'all hang tight, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. It is time to get the steak on the pan and get them cooked up. We are going to use some butter. Some olive oil. Put olive oil on first. And the steaks have been seasoned with my usual seasoning. I let them marinate for about a good three hours. Get all those seasons. Um, Go through your steak, and then we're just simply going to put them on this here on this pan, rather. Turn that heat up high. Okay, there's a one, a two. And there's number three. I'm going to fry three steaks, y'all. Oh, they smell good. They just not getting started. So, as I told you, these are thin slices. These are half inch. Because we're doing sandwiches. Well, I'm going to use this pita bread. Let me get it over here. I'm going to 
use uh, pita bread to make the steak sandwiches with, so that should be wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Good. I'm only going to cook these about three or four minutes on each side. Just uh, thin as they are, that's about all they're going to need so they'll remain nice and juicy. My veggies are done. The chicken is ready. I'll be taking it out of the oven in a few minutes. I know, I know he's probably not going to want to eat. He'll bite off one of these, but he loves the meatballs, so I'm going to make him some noodles and meatballs, and he'll eat the veggies. Okay. That meatballs and spaghetti that I made one day last during the week. Oh, Lord, he ate two plates. Man, his appetite has come alive, y'all. That little six-year-old fella is really eating now. He's just because he's playing ball, and he's growing. And he's had before seven years old, so he's eating now, y'all. Okay. Got another minute or two. So I flip these over. I'm going to go ahead and flip them now because I'm going to flip them back. See, in a minute. See what they look like. At the, uh, about, this is about the two and a half, three minutes long. We're going to sit that right there so it'll lie down. There we go. Always, always, always keep you some scissors in the kitchen. I tell everybody, nothing but the kitchen. Okay? You never know when you have to do that. They always come in so, so handy. Love these scissors. Okay, so we're just going to let these cook on that side another couple of minutes. And I might dog them a little bit, and then we'll come back and flip them one more time. And we'll be done with the steak, y'all. Okay, these babies are ready, y'all. Six minutes is all I cook them. Okay, they're ready. We'll be back. Okay, y'all, my chicken is out of the oven. And what I'm going to do... Y'all know me. We're going to combine the chicken with the steak. We're just going to take them right out of the pan here. They're nice and golden. They're cooked all the way through. Cooked them approximately 25 minutes. The honey mustard seasons all the way through them. Don't necessarily want them on top of the steak, but we're going to get them arranged here. <coughs> so they can share this pan. How about that? Okay, we got chicken and steak, y'all. Chicken and steak. Got a little, few little drippings in the pan. And we're going to get them poured up over here. I don't know that. Okay, so we got our steak and our chicken is ready. How's that for Super Bowl, y'all? And y'all know I'm a basketball girl. Y'all know that's in the shape of a basketball, but look at that piece of steak there. That's like shape of football, isn't it? So, we got our meat ready. We got our veggies ready. I got a couple other little things I'm working on. And I will be right back. Okay, y'all. There it is. Super Bowl Sunday dinner, y'all. Good, quick, fast, sweet and to the point not a whole lot of time in the kitchen but y'all better believe this is going to be some good vittles that is a stir fried pan of brussels sprouts peppers onions and creamier potatoes and there are, there's some uh, delmonica steaks to the right here pan fried delmonica steaks just seasoned to perfection with my usual seasoning and of course those mesquite chicken breasts that are seasoned up with some uh brown sugar and mustard making a nice sweet tangy sauce baked in the oven so that's all there is to it y'all we're gonna make steak sandwiches out of the steaks and just eat those um the lays along with the um 
stir fry and we're just looking forward to a great sunday we're not doing a big old super bowl party nah. the other kids they're doing their own thing they do the super bowl thing so i'm doing my thing here hope you all are having a god blessed sunday afternoon hope you got something good on the stove now if you're having a super bowl party i hope you got every dish on the table that you ever thought about and for you chicken wing lovers i hope you got your chicken wings ready to go um just remember to pray without ceasing as we gather if you gather in a big crowd just be safe um and whatever you do pray without ceasing uh, love on one another while you have this time together enjoy one another enjoy the game hope your team wins i don't have a team in this uh game so whoever is the uh, best team is surely going to win and i hope it's your team so listen guys keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down Continue to pray without ceasing. Um, be careful out here. For those of you with uh, any kind of uh, bad weather, you know, this heavy weather, rain, uh, snow, whatever. We got good, pretty weather here today, and I'm hoping that that weather is good out in California for the game. So if you're going to the game, if you're already at the game, be safe. Um, enjoy, have fun, but most of all, just be safe out there in those crowds. Listen, guys, get your vaccinations when you can social distance, wear your mask, and be kind to one another. Pray without ceasing. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to go, come down. And remember, it's Black History Month, y'all. Learn something about Black History. Do something to celebrate. If you don't know, ask somebody. You can ask me. Look, I'll see you all in the comments. Love you guys. Toodaloo.